Hi there, welcome to Ops Kit. What I've got for you here is the Blackhawk Razorback Trocar. Now this was designed, please excuse my pronunciation if I get this wrong, right, by an expert knife tactician, right, Mased Ayoub. The knife itself has been designed, right, with it being dual purpose. It's a tactical medical knife. Now I just had to get my hands on one of these because I really couldn't fathom out what a tactical medical knife was. Right, um, and boy, am I very, very pleased with the quality of this. Right, it's, it's a nice weight. Although it's a relatively small fixed blade knife, it is a nice weight. And believe me, when you read the, the, the uh, specification for this knife and it says that it's scalpel sharp, it really is. I have never got my hands on a knife out of a box that is as sharp as this without it actually being a Swan Morton scalpel. Right, so this really has had a lot of work and a lot of effort put into its manufacture. And I'm sure, although I, I will never use it for medical purposes, I don't think I will, medical purposes, um, I'm sure that anybody, any medical technician, right, will find this worth its weight in gold. There's a lot of nice features to this knife. This is, I would say, a semi-tanto blade, right, when you look at the actual shape on the end there, right, um, I, I say semi because of the angle, right, but on the back here, well, I'll put my finger behind it so you might be able to see it a bit clearer if I move that around, you've got these grooves, one, two, three, four, those grooves have been put there, right, as a guide, so if you're actually using this for medical purposes, Right, I'm not sure exactly what they would be for, right? Um, but it, I suppose it, it gives you an accurate degree of cutting depth, right? While you're actually using it for that purpose, I'm not going to stick my finger on this point because, believe me, I've drawn blood on myself with this already, right? <laughs> it was by accident, right? Um, the blade itself, right, 98 millimeters in length, right, or 3.875 inches. The overall length of the knife is 8.4 inches or 213 millimeters. Right, the grip itself, the handle, it's small, it's slim, but it works. Right, I've got big hands and I grip this knife very easily. There's n lots of grip on the back. I know it might sound a bit gory, but for a tactical me um, medical technician, your hands are going to be covered in blood. I I get the impression I haven't tried it. Right, um, but this, you, even if it was covered in blood you wouldn't have a problem with, with keeping a hold of this. The blade itself with all Blackhawk knives, Oz 8A, takes a great edge, sharpens nice and easily, and it retains that edge. That's the most important thing. I mean, we could all sharpen a, a, a knife blade 10 times a day. We don't want to be doing that. This works, this maintains a very, very good edge. The blade itself is very thick. Right, I'm just gonna grab, I should have measured this just now, but I'm gonna measure this right now for you because this blade, this blade's four millimeters thick. So, I mean, you've got a tremendous amount of strength in this. And I mean, it's, it's just got that nice weight to it. I say it's not a heavy, heavy knife. It's got enough weight there to install confidence in the user. Now, one thing that is really, really sorry, before I go on, this blade is, this is a plain edge. It is available in parts serrated. Okay, so if you, if you like that option, then, then it is definitely there. Now, one thing that was really very unique with this package, right? Um, I was quite surprised right, when I saw the size of the box that it came in. It's not massive. Right, I'll show you. It's, here it is, right? But I'm thinking to myself, what on earth's in here, right? Um, I knew it came with a sheath, right? But this sheath configuration, you've got lots of bits to it. Let's bring these into the shot here, right? Um, now I'm not going to run through every single uh, carry configuration with this and the reason that I'm not going to do that is quite simple because when you actually start piecing this together it provides you with 70 carry options. Right, this, right, there's a neck chain right that comes with it. This will give you neck carry. Right, the actual knife itself slides in there and it's solid. That's not coming out. You can put this plate on the back. That will actually allow it to hang on an inside pocket of your jacket. So you can have it covert carry 
inside your jacket pocket, or sorry, inside your jacket hanging from your pocket. You've got another method here, this tucks in your waistband. You get a lot of holsters that use this system as well. Right, um, there's a bag of um, Chicago screws here, right, so that you can piece it together as you want. There's a belt strap, right, with a snap press stud on it, right, so you can have inside the pant, outside the pant carry. There's a belt loop. Now, what I like about this, this has got adjustable sliders on the side, so you can actually remove them, 50 millimeter belt, slide them right up to whatever size you want, even down to a bit of string if you wanted to. But again, a very secure method of carry. You get a great leaflet with it. Right, this has fascinated my son. Right, it shows, I'm not going to get to see all this, but it shows all the different methods of carry. Right, you know, I mean, it's great. Right, what I suggest that you do, if you're interested, right, if you want to know any questions, or if you